All right, let's smash together some colorful outfits despite the fact that it's all gonna clash with my hair. If you are new here, basically, I just have way too many clothes that I don't wear because I'm basically in my pajamas all the time. But I thought, why not look in my wardrobe and see if I can make some monochrome looks? And to be honest, I think I made about over 10 different combinations that I could show you guys that actually look cute. So yeah, we are going to do some monochrome looks today. Now I have done this video before and if you want to watch it, I'll probably put it somewhere here. But um, I am actually usually an outfit repeater, so I'm going to try my best not to do any of those ones. But if you get to the end of this video and you're like, hey, I want some more inspo, there's that video too. But yes, let's do that YouTuber thing and jump right into it. But firstly, please subscribe so my parents don't think I'm just wasting my life. And yeah. <laughs> Now, if it wasn't for my hair, I'd probably blend into the background for this one because, girl, we love green over here, but this is really giving me some Poison Ivy vibes with that bright red hair. Love the contrast there. Maybe could kind of look a bit like Christmas at the right time of year, but I love this outfit. We've got this nice flowy dress, green top, and also we have a maybe sun belt to kind of cinch in the waist and obviously, you know, Doc Martens. And I'm not completely sure if those two greens go together, but I kind of tried out another look with this top, just in case it didn't, which is like this cool puff sleeve top with slight specks of green in it. And side note, I really like this tone of green. It's kind of like more of a out of your face kind of color, more neutral instead of being super bright or super dark. Speaking of bright green, here we are, me, a green screen. You may have seen this jumpsuit a couple of times, maybe even one of the recent videos, but I tried to style it slightly different and I've put a printed green swimsuit underneath or it could have been just like any kind of top to kind of add some other textures and attract some attention to my area there. No, I don't really want to attract the attention there, but you get the idea, I've tried to play around more with different ways that you can style a jumpsuit because usually you just think of zipping it up the normal way. Now I'm quite sure this is quite literally the worst outfit to wear for any longer than an hour because <laughs> I would not be able to use the bathroom at all very quickly. We got a swimsuit and a jumpsuit, the access to that area is just not gonna happen. But if you had some green pants, that would probably fix it a little bit better. So I just attempted to kind of stuff the jumpsuit down the pants. Um, at the time, I didn't think it really worked. It kind of was a bit poofy, but in the footage, it kind of works. Next up, we got purple or is it pink? I don't know, it's those kind of shades. I've got these Holiday the Label pants with yin yang on them that I recently got. They're not my typical style of pant. They're quite low waisted compared to my high waisted up to the boob kind of look. But um, they look really cool with this kind of pink glittery top. And of course I got some new Doc Martens that you're not supposed to know about because I'm gonna do a whole unboxing in the future. But honestly, I probably should have tied my hair up for this one because it's really clashing with the pink top. Um, I'm not really big on pink and red unless it's Valentine's Day, which is currently July, so we're not even close to that at all. All right, honestly felt pretty uncomfortable in this outfit, um, but I thought I would still show you because it's somewhat cute instead of just deleting it because of the sake of my body image. But we have some pink floral pants and also this pink knit as well as a pink bag. We're going totally Barbie on this one, but um, honestly, these pants just like didn't fit me. So we're back to square one with exercise. But let's not feel too blue about that because we're quite literally moving on to blue outfits. Now, I never thought of putting these two things together until they just managed to be next to each other in my wardrobe. And that is how all my greatest outfits end up being put together. So I have this blue silk, I'm pretty sure it's pajamas. And also this colorful knit sweater, which I feel has a lot of blue in it. So it, it kind of works for monochrome. I like the fact that we're mixing textures in this one with the crochet kind of knit as well as the silky dress. It just adds a little bit of creativity to the outfit. And I've also got my jewelry on that I always wear from Rellery. And basically I just love this look. 
I wish I could wear it out, but it's currently just too cold outside. Going deeper into the blue section of the spectrum, we have this deep kind of royal blue, glittery cohort singlet and cardigan set, as well as this blue plaid schoolgirl skirt, which I really love because it's actually long enough to cover my ass cheeks. So <laughs> yeah, I love how this also, again, contrasts with my hair. I never thought of blue and red together. I, I'm not really a big blue wearer, but I really love how this one turned out. Now we're trying a lot of different colors here in this video that I don't normally go for, which is awesome because it's cool to try out new styles. So for this one, I am going for more of a neutral tone palette and I'm not normally a neutral person. I love the bright colors, but I have been living in this dress. It's just so comfy. I can dance around in it. I can do anything I want. I can go to a picnic, cross my legs, and I won't be flashing nobody. So I love this look. Now you're probably thinking, wow, it's not that monochrome because you're just wearing a dress and it happens to just be one color. Well, let's just say you can add a little belt to kind of cinch in your waist, but it's not just for cinching in your waist. You can also add another crew neck on top of this if you're in cold weather like me, and you can just tuck that underneath the belt and it can be a cropped jumper without actually even cutting it. And that way we got the two neutral colors blending together to make a nice monochrome look. Oh, and we keep with the brown tones with the brown Doc Martens as well. All right, going with some darker brown colored neutrals. I picked up this pleated skirt from the op shop the other day for like $10 and I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, that has got to be perfectly fitted for me. Just like, you know when you can see something and you just know it's gonna fit perfectly? Well, it did. So we got this cute as heck skirt and it's got the little button details all the way down the side. So easily can take this off if I want to go to the bathroom or get changed quickly. I also ended up thrifting this turtleneck sleeveless top on the same day and they go together so nicely. They are both the same tones. So I decided to also add black socks, which is a bit different for me with my brown docks just to kind of go with the brown and black combo. All right, straight up, let's pretend I was wearing the right colored underwear or I'm just wearing like black swimwear because my pants are see-through, I get it. But here is a white slash cream outfit and I would wear the heck out of this if I could go to the beach right now. We got these perfectly awesome wide leg pants that have this cool stripe detail and also I have this cropped collared shirt to kind of match with the textures and I've just kind of folded it up under my bra at the back just to kind of cinch it in a little bit. And yeah, I love this look. We've added black accessories to contrast. We've got the black sunglasses, black Doc Martin sandals, and boom. We got such a cool girl outfit. I like literally never know where to wear these pants though, but at least I get to wear them in this lookbook. So yay. Moving on to yellow tones. I have these kind of burnt yellow overalls as well as a yellow floral swimwear for underneath. I'm guessing like my head is in summer zone because I'm going to America soon and I'm just like, oh, I can wear all these warm outfits but literally cannot wear them actually right now. But um, I've also added these black sandals because I figured this is such a beach look. All right, here is my token red dress that you've probably seen a thousand times but I don't really have too many red options. So I decided to mix it up a little bit and I put a red turtleneck on top of it to really go with those Rajneesh vibes. <laughs> if you haven't seen Wild Wild Country, basically it's a cult that um, only wears red. So anytime I wear red now, I just think I am part of that cult, but I can assure you I am not part of a cult. I just really enjoy the color red. So for this one, we do have a bright look, especially if I had my red hair out. So I've decided to put them in little space buns added my Doc Martin quads because we need to look like a cool grungy princess and we have also the sun belt to add a little detail to the outfit. All right, I think gray is like a little bit underrated and probably not considered a monochrome look, but for this one, I do have a gray baggy oversized tee as well as these kind of gray plaid pants. Now this one's super different for me because I don't normally like adding 
baggy with baggy, but because I've kind of tucked in the top into my bra, there's a little tiny, tiny bit of skin showing around my waist so I don't get lost in these baggy clothes. Now I wasn't going to include this one because I was going to have a whole video about this pajama set but I thought how can I not do an orange look in this monochrome video. So here we are we got the orange holiday the label set. It's so comfy I have literally worn it every single day and I probably need to wash it. I also may or may not be wearing these Doc Martens that I'm also trying not to show you because again we have a haul coming soon but I just had to wear it with this outfit. It just made sense. We got the white top so you needed the white shoes to really pull it all together. Now I feel like this pajama set can be a bit much if I do button it up because it's just a whole lot of checkerboard so instead I like to pair like a crop top or something underneath to just show that I have a shape under there and I'm not just a little rectangle. And lastly we have got black which it's just such a bold statement. Now you can just look super boring in black unless you mix up the textures. So I've added this mesh top which is kind of glittery as well as my corduroy overalls. I've got a belt to kind of mix up the colors in there as well as some black dog muns with yellow socks to kind of add some dimension. Now this one really makes me think I'm living like in Camden or something. I'm a super cool girl, kind of alternative. It really accentuates the fact that I have really bright hair. So if you have bright hair, wearing black kind of just like makes you look a little bit classy and brings out your cool locks. And I low key feel like I can kick anyone who gets in my way in this outfit, so. Alrighty pals, that is how I style heaps of different colors. I basically smashed together every single outfit I had with different colors, but if you wanna see my one from last year, I will put it on screen now, as well as you kind of got a sneak peek of my new Doc Martens. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I'll probably make a video all about them soon. Plus, if you wanna see any other Doc Martens videos, check those out. But I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wandering.